Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Katie and today we are unboxing and creating with the June Artful Box. Before we get into that though, if you haven't already, make sure you've hit that subscribe button and have those lovely notifications turned on. My house move is happening within the next couple of weeks so my schedule is going to be all over the show and when I get back to normal I want to make sure you guys don't miss out on a single thing. And with that being said, let's talk about the box, shall we? So, it is a watercolour box and I feel with the most recent subscription boxes I've done, they've all been watercolour too, so it's not surprising that this has followed that trend. We have a 24 set of watercolours in pans. We have five varying brushes, a HB pencil, a pipette, a sketch pad and I was supposed to have some of the cards that were featured in the ink box back in December but they don't seem to be in there I'm afraid. And we also have the magazine. I'll talk about the brushes first though. I actually do quite like the brushes that you get with Artful. I think they're a nice quality and I know it sounds a bit daft but they've got a nice weight and a nice feel to them as well. We have three round brushes in sizes 1, 4 and 5, a chisel tip in a size 6 and a large flat brush in a size 14. The HB pencil is a HB pencil and the watercolour pad is the same as the ink box. I think the paper's quite nice but apart from knowing how heavy it is which is a 300 GSM there's no information about what the paper is made from whether it's cotton or paper pulp and I would have thought perhaps by this box they might just mention that on there. The watercolours themselves are an artful own brand and the 24 colours are lemon yellow, yellow, cadmium yellow, orange, red, cadmium red, rose red, magenta, purple, turquoise, cobalt, sea blue, prussian blue, Payne's grey, hookah's green, emerald green, olive green, tree green, yellow ochre, umber, burnt sienna, brown, coal black and titanium white. Whew, that was a lot. Upon swatching them out and I did a bit of a mass tone into a more flowing thing you can see on the screen there, they were a little hard to move around and that's okay because sometimes that is a characteristic of certain brands of paint. The colours themselves were very vibrant, I'll give them that. However, I noticed there were quite a few similar colours on there. So the yellow and the cadmium yellow, well, they're very similar when they're on paper as well as the orange and red and the cad red. Again, they were very similar and maybe, maybe we could have swapped them colours out. Also, some of the colours did take a little while to activate, especially the brown, and upon using it, it seemed more like a, a neutrally tinty colour, I guess, maybe leaning slightly on a brown side, but it was one of them where I wouldn't instinctively think it was a brown, I would think it would perhaps be one of the tones of black. But of course, that is the initial viewing. Now, the magazine, I'm still going through that and there's some really lovely different styles of artwork, what you can be inspired by to use these materials with. And I like that compared to their first ever magazine, this is so much better. Like I say, I'm still reading through it to be honest because it's quite a big beast of a book, but I did have a little scan through for any further information regarding the paints. And this is sort of where I have mixed feelings about Artful. I think overall this is a nice box for beginners and it costs £35 here in the UK and I think it's worth £35. I mentioned before on the ink box I don't feel that the watercolour paper is worth £20. I'd probably pay in the region of £10 maybe if I knew what it was made out of. The brushes, again, I guess you can't get them anywhere else, so they can price them however they like. However, I do enjoy the brushes, but if I had never heard of this brand before and I was browsing the website, I'd be a little bit put off by one of them being at 14 95 from... Oh, I, I don't want to sound horrible here, but it's not like an art retailer. Like, if I was going on Jackson's, I would have 
a bit more information about it, whereas the Artful Book, it just says, use this for larger washies and blocking things out quickly. And it's sort of that vagueness which gives me a bit of conflict about this box. And let's talk about the watercolours. So they're retailed at $49.95, and again, you can only get them from Artful. As far as my painting experience was concerned, I really quite enjoyed using these. The, again, similar colours, but there was a nice array of colours there, and they laid down quite nicely. For me, I struggle to see who this box is aimed at. Like I mentioned, I'd pay £35 for the box. I think you get quite a good few projects in there, and I appreciate that. Equally, though, you have Scrollbox recently, which provided a lot of tubes of watercolours. Okay, granted, it's not 24, but it's a good introductory set, and it's by a reputable brand. You can find out what pigments are in there, a little bit of information about the light fastness and the granulation, etc., etc. Unfortunately, there's none of that mentioned with the Artful paints, and again, it's hard to decide who it is aimed at. Is it aimed at an artist who is curious and wants to create work and possibly images to sell with this? In which case, maybe your light fast rating should be on there. I also think as well, from a beginner's point of view, that you're gonna do a painting, you're gonna progress, and again, these were lovely to mix, they're great for color studies, etc. But if you've perhaps created something you're really proud of and you gift it to someone or somebody wants to buy it from you and those colours start disappearing then I don't know it, it would just be nice to have that on there and surely that's part of the learning experience about watercolours right? Now I have sent Artful an email um, just asking can I have some cards sent across and mainly to find out if there's any pigment information for these watercolours. If I do get that information and if they can provide it, I will put a link or I'll, I'll do a separate video mentioning that and then, you know, we know where we stand with these paints. And I feel like I've been really negative here and I haven't. I do think this is worth £35. I do. You've got a lot of watercolours. You've got some nice brushes. You've got a pad of paper. I also forgot to mention you have a little bottle of masking fluid, but what would have been really good would have been to have a specific brush to apply that with. I'm sure a lot of us know that we've all used brushes in the masking fluid and then we've never been able to use those brushes again and it just seems such a shame that these nice brushes we've been provided with are the main way to apply this and surely you, you can get special masking fluid brushes. But I'm kind of detracting away from my painting experience here. So I decided to paint an owl, as I'm sure you've seen that develop on your screens. And at the moment, because everything's pretty much in boxes now, and I'll cover all of this in another video this week. But I'm quite enjoying painting natural things, and I'm getting into doing flowers, but every now and then I'll step back into drawing wildlife, and I just thought an owl would be great for this. The paints were lovely to work with on here. With a bit of persuasion, they did move around quite nicely. There were some nice textures there as well and adding flashes of colors that you wouldn't necessarily have on an owl worked lovely. The brushes were a joy to work with and I do like the variety of brushes you have there. I didn't feel the need to dip into my own, which is good, I'm, I'm happy with that. And I finally got a nice new pipette because I'm pretty sure everyone who's watched videos where I've filled up paint pans with drops of water, you've probably thought how disgusting that pipette is and it was and it's gone now so I have a nice new one. I think all in all £35, again I'm saying this again, it's okay, I think you get your money's worth here. I think you could also spend a little bit more and get more professional watercolours or watercolours from a brand that you can find out pigment information from. The good thing about Artful is, although it's a subscription box, it's not a mystery box, you do have a little bit of advance beforehand so you can make a call as to see whether it's worth it or not. I didn't have the last Artful box because I have so many Tombow pens at the moment, I just did not need any more, so I can't really comment about that one. The ink box was really good as well, I thought you got your money's worth there, perhaps not what they're saying it's worth, but 
this is just my opinion and the same goes for this box too. I really enjoyed what I painted here. It felt quite nice to get some watercolours on some paper after spending weeks and weeks packing. And I'm sure I'll use these again. Maybe not as a piece to hang up as an original, but I think I could get some nice prints out of this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Unless I get an upgrade this week, I will pop up a Witchy Things to Draw video on Friday and I will just fill you in on the progress of everything house move and art wise. I do hope you've enjoyed this video though and I want to say a massive thank you for watching and your fabulous patience with me at the moment. If you're missing my regular uploads, there should be something on screen now I think you'll enjoy and in the meantime, I'll see you all soon. Bye!